Hello everyone, it's that boy Josh, here today with another video. Today I'm just going to be doing little odds and sods, maybe putting in bolts from my top rocker cover, putting on my oil sump, and seeing if I can get around to filling any other little jobs that I get on today, as I've only got a limited amount of time. So yeah, we want, let's crack on with it. So for the top block here, I've brought little silver, pl silver uh, zinc plated screws, and I've brought, also brought a collar for them as well, which is blue. Which I was trying to get some green ones to tie in with that, but it wouldn't, they didn't sell any. The company didn't sell any at the time, Pro Bolt. Um, so I'm probably going to have to spray these up green, or depending on how they look with it, to prefer they don't look too bad. Um, I'll see when it comes to it. I'll put them in first and we'll just go with the flow. Considering that I have to get this repainted because when I pull it down, as you can see, it's scuffed it all up. It's made a horrible job of it. It's quite good to good it about. I'm gonna have to just get it powder coated now and then I'll cut in the edges after. But it's not a priority job. I'm just gonna get it bolted down. Most of the parts fixed and sorted for now. Just whilst I get the car coming in because I've finally purchased a car, which is a Corsa B, and I'm gonna be putting it into. I should be getting that by the end of the month. And then hopefully I can make a video on what the car is, its condition, and so we can get a starting point of that and then Eventually, as I put the engine in and do it up, we'll have a point of seeing where I've come from to where I am then. But that's a lot further away. So now I've got all the caps and uh, washers in place. I'm just going to do them up. Not too, not too much just yet. Just going for the outer edges first. So, uh, so it all comes down evenly, should I say, sorry. Um, I didn't think of what, uh, what to make of the blue ones, but to be fair to you, I'm quite happy with them. I thought the two contrast in blue would be a bit too much because there's so many different shades and colours going on, but I'm not really that bothered about it, to be honest with you. It looks all right. But this paintwork, I really am bothered about. I'm definitely going to have to get this powder coated. So, for the middle ones, I'm not going to be using any of the blue colours of zinc bolts on the inside because you're not going to see them. So, it's just on the outside, it's personal preference. And I'm not going to lock tight them up just yet because, as I said, I want to powder coat this rocker cover. It's just to stop it from falling off when I rotate it to put the oil sump on. And mess around putting all the other bolts on. All the other add-on bits, should I say, sorry. So if I have a look at all of that, I'm quite happy with how that's all turned out. Well, how it's looking at the moment, it's looking quite nice. Like I say, you won't be seeing all of these bolts in here, so it doesn't really matter. The ignition will be covering that. But I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm just going to have to turn it over, put the oil sump on. Before we go ahead and bolt the oil sump straight on, uh, we're missing a few components out of the middle of it. This is the little mesh filter that sucks up all oil in through there and feeds it back into the engine. And then the little plate that just goes over on top of it kind of helps filter out all the debris of the oil. Um, I brought a new seal for him here and the thing is with these setups I've been told that after every 10,000 miles because of this filter mesh here and because they run so hot that you need to drop the oil sump off clean it all out and make sure all the oil hasn't joined together and gone all hard and clogging up this filter because you'll end up starving your engine from oil and we don't want that really so that's just a good that's just a note if you have a BC4 engine or any side engine really. That's a good seal. Good fit. Right. Using a bit of Loctite again. I'm using only medium strength for these ones because they're small screws. Uh, and I don't want to um, don't want to end up stripping the threads when it comes to undoing them, should I say. Oh. Um, 
before I go ahead and bolt it straight down, I'll just show you the state of the bolts. They look all manky. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, do now is just take her over to the wire bush quickly, clean them up, and then I'll show you the before and after. Well, this is the before, but I'll show you the after results. I'm trying to find the one, this one here. I had to centre punch him and knock him out because they were all really hard to get them off and it would come stripping down the engine. I'm also missing one, so I've had to make uh, another bolt. I'll be able to cut him down a little bit. It's the only uh, zinc plated one that I've got, just so it didn't go rusty like these ones have, but yeah. So here are all the new bolts. As you can see, looking all polished up and looking nice now. Um, these will go on the bottom of the sump. These small ones will be going in top of there. This is that worst one that I was showing you in the previous clip before. I've just ground him back a little bit on the grinding wheel and polished them up. They all look pretty much brand new now. I'm not going to argue with them, especially with them being on the bottom of the engine. You're not going to see them, but it's better to take some pride in them, you know. First things first is, like I say, because these are only little screws, I'm only using medium lock tight for them. So it's sunk down in place now, it's not going anywhere. Time for the tray to go on next. Tray like so. Front bolts, one, two, three, four, five. Lucky day. Got to tie them up. And run some repeat. So what I'm gonna do now is just bolt these down quickly. And then we'll bring the camera over to the engine block and get it something down. Now I've bolted the tray down and we've bolted the tube for the oil transfer pipe. Um, I'm going to be using this. Just the, it's the same thing I use for the timer cover, just to mount the sump to the bottom block. So I'm just going to put some bead around this now. So now you can see I've uh, put all the sealing around on the sump. I'm just going to apply it to the engine. So just whilst I put the sump down quickly, I'm just going to bottom up a little bit, just because I need to put on the uh, cover on the back here, which has got the two screws here. So I'm just going to leave it a little bit loose for now, turn it around, lift them off of the engine hoist and get that cover on. So I've put the plate on the back here now. I'm just going to put the flywheel on there. Um, but first I need to clean it so up. So this is what the flywheel looks like. Luckily there's a witness mark around there. I've scribed little positions here just so I know the exact position of when I put it back on. So as you can see here I've just polished up all the bolts for the flywheel and of why I mocked up the flywheel as you can see. It's come out looking a lot better. So let's just fit it now. Like I said, there's a mark in there and all these line markings on here for me just to line it up. No, oh, butter fingers. Just gonna put one in it just to hold it in place. This all polished up now, it's looking like a brand new engine. Just 
just going to talk these up now to find out what settings they are. I've just got to refer to the manual. So I've now got the flywheel on, looking polished with all the bolts on, looking polished. A little bit of wear from the old clutch mark, but I'm not too fussed about that. It's looking a uh, hundred times better than what it did with the uh, when I first got it, should I say. After I put that timing cover plate on and the flywheel, I mustn't forget to put the bolts in here underneath. I can torque them up now to 22 newton meters. Torque the oil sump bolt up as well, wash them here, lock tight them in, and then we should be done. I think that's as far as I'm going to take it today, guys, in terms of build. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.